21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day I will summon my servant Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? Or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of a living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the neverworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. We might call this Sunday Power Sunday because the main theme is the handing over of the keys, which open and shut, representing authority in the church and in the kingdom. The first reading from Isaiah gives a detailed description of the investiture of a royal court official. The robe, the sash, and the keys are insignia of this office. Isaiah tells us how the keys of authority were taken away from the Shebna, the unfaithful and proud master of the royal palace, and given to the humble and faithful Eliakim. In today's psalm, David thanks God for having raised him from lowly origins and given him authority as king over the people of Israel. In the second reading, Saint Paul points out that God is the source of all authority on earth and heaven. Who is Jesus to you? To the artist, he is the one altogether lovely. To the architect, he is the chief cornerstone. To the astronomer, he is the son of righteousness. To the baker, he is the living bread. To the banker, he is the hidden treasure. To the biologist, he is the life. To the carpenter, he is the sure foundation. To the doctor, he is the great physician. To the educator, he is the great teacher. To the farmer, he is the sower and lord of the harvest. To the florist, he is the lily of the valley. To the geologist, he is the rock of ages. To the horticulturist, he is the true vine. To the judge, he is the righteous one. To the juror, he is the true witness. To the jeweler, he is the pearl of great price. 
To the editor, he is the good tidings of great joy. To the occulist, he is the light of the eyes. To the philosopher, he is wisdom. To the printer, he is the true type. To the servant, he is the good master. To the student, he is the incarnate truth. To the toiler, he is the giver of rest. To the sinner, he is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. This is what Bible says Jesus is. To the Christian, he is the Son of the living God, the Savior, the Redeemer and Lord.